Bradley's back with rowing video number 22. Yeah! All right. Got my trusty, disgusting Minneapolis sewer water. Got the Stooges over there. Got my Batmobile all set up. Got my radio program in the back. So let's get going. All right. Batmobile looks good. This is my Batmobile. Yeah. All right, here we go, man. Ugh. Better get my hacky sack all adjusted. I know that turns you on when I've got everything properly positioned right. All right. God, that stinks. I got a shower. My hacky sack really stinks. I'm sure you want to know that. But the scent is delightful. Okay, 10.40, so we're going to go to about 11 o'clock. If I cough, just ignore it. I'm still battling allergies, and I am desperately trying to figure out how to combat them. Okay, so last night I did Spidey Presents, and he did the movie The Brain That Wouldn't Die. Pretty good little movie. Okay, tonight I decided to do the rolling video. I should have done the rolling video last night and Spuddy presents tonight. I kind of reversed them. I don't know why I just did. <clears throat> Let's get some water here. I feel like a cough is coming on. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get started here. Okay, so... I'm on my five day weekend, of course, as of yesterday and tonight and the next three days in a row from that lovely shithole job, Cub Foods, up in Uptown Minneapolis. Mm. Now, how did it go Friday and Saturday? Friday didn't go too bad. Saturday had a bunch of douchebags from hell arguing and bitching about everything in the store and uh, stealing on the Scott Lane. For a, a lot of you don't realize, the Scott Lane is the self-checkout machines. That's what Scott means. So we have four of those pieces of shit, and they just come in there to steal in the Scott Lane. Sitting there arguing with people up front numerous times on Saturday, you know, about the stupidest fucking things possible. You know, that's, that's the best thing I ever did was go down to two days like two months ago or something like that. Yeah, it's just, God, God, fucking garbage, man. There's people up there are just, just disgustingly douchebags. <laughs> They're like fucking douchebags, man. I, I you know, I, I say that kiddingly, but it's the fucking truth, folks. They're fucking douchebags. Not the employees or the managers. They're all fine. It's just half the uh, customers. Fuck, man. Nothing but theft every two days that I'm up there. I'm sure it happens the other five days I'm out there too, so, you know. Don't even understand why that store is even open anymore, man. What if you caught more well, enough with that, uh, that fucking job? If you caught my Spidey Presents last night, you might want to check out uh, uh, The Brain That Wouldn't Die. Really bizarre little movie from 1962. Kind of like a medical horror movie with a little bit of porn thrown in. <laughs> oh my god. Even though it's not really naked porn, but it's still sleazy as fucking hell. I, I felt like taking a shower after I did that review yesterday, yesterday so I just, oh my god. Ugh, why would anybody want to keep your girlfriend's head alive after it's been decapitated and trying to bring it back to life. Oh my God, watch my review. Anyway, so I don't have to go back till next weekend to my job, so not too much has gone on. Got a little painting done today in one of my new, uh, my recent uh, artwork. Oh, I think it's gonna turn out halfway decent. First time I've uh, painted and well, 2013, so 
been working on this painting for maybe, ooh, I don't know, off and on for a month, a month and a half, when I have time and when I feel good. I felt okay this afternoon, so I put a couple hours into it. Oh, God. Eh, we're just going to have a nice slow roll. Not much else going on. Just going to try to accomplish a few things this week. You know, the, my next three off days, so basically I can uh, just, you know, stay away from that damn store until the weekend, this upcoming weekend. Oh, yeah, man. Got the Stooges. I love the Stooges, man. I can watch the Stooges all the time, man. Not much else going on. I ain't got a lot of news. Otherwise, I'm just trying to roll a little bit and get a little bit of exercise in. Oh, my God. Did a lovely load of laundry in the basement today. That was exciting. God. I love being here in my apartment because I really don't want to associate with people at all. Other than the two. I don't even want to associate with the people up at the store when I work there two days a week. But I have to. I don't have to. I just choose extra money. That's all I do. All right. <clears throat> Some of the things I've been said in my last rowing video I have planned is uh, I'm going to start a secondary painting pretty soon. I might be trying to do a graveyard in the dead of night. You know, with the moon and shadows and you know, hauntingly looking back. I don't know. You'll have to see it. I kind of got a, a bit of an idea in my mind, so well, I want to finish this first one, this first painting first. I don't want to jump ahead of myself because, as I've said many times before, one painting at a time. One painting at a time. It's extremely important not to jump ahead of yourself. Otherwise, you just get you know, you, you become overwhelmed, right? You know, and you start to, you know, start to get frustrated and, you know, you got to kind of just like pace yourself, slow down, you know, kind of do one thing at a time. Too many, too many people try to do too many things in a bunch, in a hurry, you know, like in one day or something like that. Kind of like just... Kind of space them out a little bit more, man. Where are you gonna go? You ain't going nowhere, man. Oh my god. But anyway, that goddamn store, man. Ugh. Like I said in my last rowing video, I'm gonna have to set a finish date up there because I don't even want to go up there two days a week. Like I said, I don't have to, I just do it for extra money, but, you know, they barely have anybody working in the store. There was hardly any customers at all my two days I was up there, man. It was like, it's like a fucking graveyard, man. Oh my God. Not many customers, man. It was like you could fall asleep just walking around, just... You know, with the, I don't know how many were in there during my shifts, but not a lot. Very, very few, very few. Which makes it easier for me, of course, because I don't like dealing with people. Because I've already, I already said in my last video, people are the worst, man. They find any reason to fuck with you. And I'm just tired of that shit. 69 years old and... Just fucking tired of it, man. Tired of the bullshit and the, the stress and the anxiety and the uncertainty. Yeah, right, I am. Oh, fuck, it just pisses me off, man. I don't even like going to the corner to mail a fucking letter, man. Jesus Christ. I have a mailbox right on the other side of my block where I live. I hate even going over there. It takes a whopping three minutes to go over there and drop the letter in the mailbox and come back. Oh, God. 
Oh, Stooges, a new episode. All right, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, my YouTube channel is pretty much dead in the fucking water. I got some decent reviews on uh, on uh, Spidey Presents last night. Not reviews, but, you know, views, I should say. Of course, nobody comments anymore. YouTube has pretty much put the kibosh on my popularity. <laughs> I don't even care, man. Like I've said like a hundred times before, I just do it for the fun of it. I just, I just like to make videos and accomplish something. Oh, that's about it, man. That's all. I don't really care about, uh, uh oh, yeah, Stooges, oh boy. Ah, yeah, we'll just forget about that. Looks like those episodes are done. Oh my god. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to start my second painting pretty soon. Um, probably in the next couple days. I hope to do another video between now and when I go back to my job. I've gotten two under my belt with this one tonight, so uh, basically, I hope to do one tomorrow night or possibly Wednesday night if I feel up to it and if I feel good. Like I said, my health is rapidly declining at 69, so, you know, I try to exercise and try to keep as much stress on my life as possible because that kind of affects your health and stuff like that. But, you know, it's kind of a losing proposition, really. You know, when you start getting up to my age bracket at 69, you kind of, you know, you know, you know the writing's on the wall, right? You know you're not going to be around a whole lot longer, you know, so I'm just trying to accomplish a few things before I kick the bucket. And like I said, my health is just not too good right now. It's been really pissy the last year or so. Even though I try desperately to counteract that. But, you know, what can you do? You know? Hope, from, hope for a miracle from God, you know? Oh my God, oh my God. Hey, ain't my videos uplifting? I know you love them because they're so uplifting and positive. God, yes. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, got a nice fish dinner waiting for me later on. Oh, catfish nuggets and veggies and shit. I don't know, folks. Things aren't going too bad the last today and yesterday. But the thought of going back to that job in four days just sickens me, on, sickens me beyond belief, man. I don't even know if I want to go back. I'm about ready to just say, fuck that shit. I don't want to deal with people as little as possible, as little as humanly possible. But anyway, like I said, I'm probably going to do another video, probably tomorrow night or Wednesday night. I might show off that new winter penny that I'm working on. Uh, you got a glimpse of it a couple of weeks ago on one of my rowing videos. I kind of showed the beginnings of it. I've got a lot more done, so basically, you know, it should be more uh, advanced. I worked on it about two hours tonight. Isn't that funny? I kind of bounced before, bounced back before. I mean, back and forth between that crappy ass job, my videos, and uh, my painting stuff. Oh my god! He's deranged. Not really, man. Just a frust frustrated old man. But anyway, said like I said. The thought of going back to that job a couple days a week just sickens me because the minute I walk in the door, it's just like, oh God, are you kidding me? Why am I here again? What kind of bullshit's going on before I got there on my days off that went down there? There's always something happening on my days off, you know, something I don't want to deal with. Thank God I don't have to, you know, and, you know, and now, even two days a week, it's just frustrating. I don't even know why I do this. The money ain't that important. 
All right. Yeah, too bad the Stooges is kind of like over. I should have said it for earlier episodes, but unfortunately it's over, so I could just, I could, yeah, let's do that. Let's, come on, man. Let's put some more Stooges on. Play all episodes. There we go. Here we go. They're going to come back on. I know you want that. I can feel it. I can feel it in my gut. All right. Well, I can, like I said, oh, there we go. Finally some Stooges again. Well, thank God. I know this rowing video ain't going to get any views. <laughs> I think the last one I did got a whopping nine views or something like that. That's okay. I don't expect much from my my uh, subscribers nowadays or YouTube. So I think that's the best way to approach YouTube is not to basically uh, expect success. You know, it's up to you know either they like your videos or they don't. You know, and apparently they don't. So <laughs> you know, I just make them for fun. Just for the fun of it, right? That's all I want to do. It's just for the fun of it. Something to, something not, so I don't get bored or something like that. I don't know, man. Oh, they're doing the beer app, so that one's, the Stooges are funny in this one. This is funny as hell, man. Rock. Anyway, like I said, this isn't really a really serious video. I mean, I, I mean a rowing video, so I rant about the same things over and over, the job, the people I have to deal with up there, people I never want to deal with. Politicians are nothing but a fucking waste of skin. They're like inbred ass clowns, aren't they? Politicians? That's why I don't vote. I don't fucking vote. Stop voting about 10 years ago. Never again. Never again. They're worthless. They're fucking worthless. It doesn't make any difference what party they're associated with. They're all fucking, like, just inbred ass clowns, man. All of them. Worthless, man. Why waste my time going to the voting uh, polls and putting my or check mark on some worthless piece of shit that, oh my God, it's terrible. I just won't do that anymore, man. It's been fucking 10 years. Never again. Ooh, thank God I stopped. But I ran the last time about the politicians. You know how I feel about politicians. And like I said, I block everything on social media, politics, oh, any type of war news. Yeah, there's another fucking thing, war news. Jesus Christ. I block all that shit, you know. I block everything other than what I'd like to see. You know, so that's the way it is with Bradley, man. I try to stay downwind of all that kind of bullshit because it just fucking sucks. It sucks. Ugh. Well, anyway, we were, we talked last time about politicians and uh, you know news organizations and all that kind of shit. I try to block it all. I do block it all. I won't contend with that bullshit. I just want to make my videos, paint a little bit, you know, stuff like that. Simple shit in life, you know? Stress-free shit, right? That's what I love. That's what I kind of like view it as, you know, stress-free. Stress. Free, stress. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I gotta, I gotta have some supper go to bed. Oh my god. I don't know. This video seems okay. I could sit and rant the whole time, which I probably already have ranted, but you know the whole time, but there's no reason to go app go uh keep going after all the same issues that I hate, so you know, just do the stuff that I like to do, you know. Stay away from news and politicians and any type of other type of news on social media or the Oh my god, the internet. God. Oh my god. I'm pretty proud I haven't voted for 10 years. I am very proud of that. 
I stood my ground 10 years ago and I said, enough, enough, enough. I ain't voting for those ass clowns. Inbred ass clowns. Uh. Anyway, like I said, I got some other plans for upcoming paintings. What I might try to do is, I may try to reproduce some of my upcoming paintings on uh, high quality archive, archive paper and maybe sell the prints again like I used to do way back in, uh, I don't know, 2000, 2013, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about going in that direction again. A little extra money, try to get my name out there a little bit more. Not too much. Hey, I know you. I know you're all gonna look at this video and go, "Can he ever just say something positive?" Yes. Politicians suck. How's that for positivity? Social media sucks. All news organizations suck. Everything sucks that isn't. Oh, this is terrible, terrible, terrible. Thank God I'm out of that. I don't know. But anyway, I know these roaming videos are just updates, I think, mainly, you know. Like I said, it's been a fairly pleasant week, you know, not too much bullshit. First two days of my weekend have gone pretty decent. Hope the next three go pretty decent before I have to go back to Hell's Kitchen for two days. Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't really know. I don't think there's much more to talk about. <sighs> Certainly. A rotten egg. Anyway, this video is probably just a more mellow version of my last video, but. You know how I feel about everything, so basically I don't have to keep rehashing everything when it comes to politics, people, stuff like that. I have a very low opinion of people, and I have good reason to have a low opinion. You know, the thing is, I've gone through so much bullshit my 69 years with people, and you know, the world in general, I've just had enough. You know, it's just fuck this shit, man. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dig a hole. I'm gonna dig a bunker and just live in that bunker, man. Sort of like a, sort of like Grizzly Adams or something. Thinking about buying a Volkswagen car. Remember those old cars? I think I mentioned this last time. Uh, those old classics from the 60s and 70s, the, one, the ones that got the bubble top, you know, with the motor in the, in the, in the back of the, the Volkswagen car. I like those ones, they're pretty cool, man. Like I said, I won't drive around in today's pieces of shit. So that's enough of that, man. I already ranted about that last time. And I still stand my ground on that. Along with politics and voting and all that shit. Oh my god. But anyway, I think we're gonna shut this video down. I really don't have much to say. Hopefully tomorrow night, like I said, I can show you a clip of my new uh, winter doomy doomy painting. And you might like it. Some of you might hate it. So anyway, we are going to shut this video down. And as always, I really appreciate the people that have, have hung with me. You know, watched my videos over the last eight, nine years, whatever, since 2015. You know, nine years maybe, I don't know. I do appreciate that. You know, once in a while I do get a comment now and then on one of my videos, but you know, it's uh, few and far in between, so you know, it doesn't make any difference anymore. I'm just doing all this for fun, as I said 80 billion times. You know, I have no expectations, and I just, I just do this because I want to make videos and show people what I'm doing and stuff like that. My, my Spidey Presents and my Penny the Lonely Clown and my uh, you know, my painting videos and all the other characters I've done over the years. I'm just trying to have fun in my remaining years on life, in life, so, you know. Like I said, I don't know how much time I have. It's 
69 years old and you know my health like I said is declining rapidly so you know what can you do try to make your life as comfortable as possible in your remaining years no matter the five years or ten years up the road or even 20 years up the road it's it's coming you know you can't stop it so you know just try to have some fun you know relax a little bit and you know try to stay away from all the the problem, I have problematic uh, issues in the world, which I do beautifully. So, otherwise, I think we're going to shut this down. And uh, if you want to comment on this video or my Spidey Presents video from last night, please do so. You know, if you want to just ignore me like most people do, please do so. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Like I said, I only do this for fun. This is like a hobby, man. This is like a painting hobby for me. Well, that was a that was a very informative video. I must say, I did a wonderful job. Another spectacular job from Bradley. I wish I had more to say, but like I said, there's really not much to say. I basically kind of let you know where I'm at in the last three or four uh, rowing videos, what my thoughts are and stuff like that, and my views. So I'm sure you, a lot of you probably disagree with me, but I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. If you don't like my videos, don't watch them. Don't like my rowing videos, don't watch them. Watch the other ones, they're more fun. This one is right to the point and mean and mean. Anyway, thanks a lot for everything. Let's shut this baby down, man. And I'm telling the truth. Oh yeah, get this baby shut down, man. Oh, so you guys can go to bed, man.